Good morning, friends. Nice to see you here this morning. It's Matt Greer, and we are at the beginning of our Songa Palooza Festival, and this is the first of uh, sessions we'll have every weekday morning this week. This is Morning Music with Matt. I'm so pleased that you are here. I'm coming to you live from Albuquerque. Uh, some of you I know are viewing from other parts of the world besides Albuquerque, so let us know in the chat if you're here and where you're tuning in from. Um, we had a great kickoff to the festival yesterday. Our first live event was a sing-through of the Vivaldi Gloria, and we had a chorus of, I want to say, between 60 and 70 show up and rehearsed and then brought in an orchestra of fantastic local players, and we sang it through. We had two wonderful soloists, Mary Ruth Lown and uh, Grace Kyver, who are part of a quartet of young professional singers who are here uh, with us all week doing teaching and singing, and they're here from the uh, Voces 8 Foundation. They're part of the Voces 8 Scholars Network. So we just had a great kickoff yesterday, and we've got great stuff going on today and great stuff going on the rest of the week. I am so happy that uh, helping me with the virtual portions of this week uh, are my friends that have done this with me twice now, uh, virtual quintessence events, although they don't live in Albuquerque and I've actually never met them in person. But uh, I want to invite to join me and welcome my friend Sarah Langworthy, who is in Minnesota. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? It's, <laughs> it's a delight to be back with you all. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yay, 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 yay. What's it like in uh, Minnesota? Is it horrible, hot and humid? It It is a little bit. It's It's been a little gross. You know, we've got the, the drought, rocking the drought times right now. And, you know, it just is hot a lot. But that's that's all right. We, you know, we pay for it in the winter. So it, yeah, we get yeah. all of the seasons here. But yeah, I just wish I could be in Albuquerque this week. I, I did think about it. I was like, oh, what, like, how would I do that? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. I, I wish I could just hear all the music you all are doing. So mm. yeah, yesterday was pretty great. I mean, people were um, people just seemed very happy to be in a room singing together, and uh, it's it's definitely the the case that we are not taking that for granted. And so we we really enjoyed the heck out of it yesterday, and are going to enjoy the other live events a lot. And so yeah, I wish you were here, but I'm so happy that I get to hang out with you and the virtual stuff that we have coming yeah. up is is marvelous also. Yeah, um, no, there's some good stuff. I'm yeah, excited. absolutely. And so the agenda this morning is we're just gonna kind of chat and talk through the schedule for the week. The first thing that I wanna say is if you are just happening upon us on YouTube or click to the link on Facebook, it is not too late yeah. to register for the Song of Palooza Festival. Um, and there are several different ways you could do that. You can do just the virtual events for $40. You can do just the live events for $80. You can do the all-inclusive package for $99, which if you'll notice if you add up the cost of the virtual events and the cost of the live events, it's cheaper to do the all-inclusive. I read about that in a marketing book. Um, <laughs> so It's a very good tip. It's a very, very, very good thank strategy. You. Yeah, yes, I'm yes. really good at this stuff. So, um, and then there are people who are just doing the live sing through events and those you can do at $25 each if you can't commit to the, the whole thing. So we've got the Robert Ray Gospel Mass tonight. If you just want to do that, there's a, an opportunity to, to just register for that and then Thursday nights. But before I get ahead of myself, um, let me tell you what else is going on today. Um, after Sarah and I finished chatting just pretty much immediately at the top of the hour, uh, we're going to have a virtual keynote address. Um, from a fantastic uh, musician and educator named uh, Rod Vester. Dr. Rod Vester is coming to us from Nashville. Um, and he's an amazing guy who just wears a lot of hats. He's a fantastic pianist. He's a church musician. He's worked in academic settings. He's actually uh, going to work for Shenandoah University beginning this fall, um, helping lead some of their music events and someone just who thinks holistically about what music should be. And he's gonna to talk to us about getting back into community together and making music and issues of diversity and inclusion around that. So um, it's it's gonna be great. And that will be live uh, at the top of the hour. Yeah, here very shortly. Yes, here very shortly. <laughs> and then at one o'clock mountain time, um, we have our good friend, Paul Smith, uh, co-founder of Voces 8 and now um, CEO of the Voces 8 Foundation who leads all of their fantastic educational work. And uh, Paul and Katie Jeffries-Harris, who's a current member of Voces 8, 
uh, recorded. I, we could pretend like this is going to be live. I'm just going to tell you it's not live. They recorded it live for us like two <laughs> weeks ago. So, um, but it was a great session. And what they are doing in some of the songs that they are teaching, and it's interactive as Paul sessions, you know, always are. Um, so be prepared to sing, but they are uh, helping teach some songs that our Voces 8 scholars that are here this week are going to get us singing all week. So that's going to be crazy fun. Um, that's super cool. The the scholars that have been with you, they, they've been here a little bit now, a week or so, or did no, they, when did they no, show up? They all arrived Saturday. Um, <laughs> no big <and> deal. So, <laughs> yeah. Just jumping in with both feet. I love it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. And um, this is the second time we've been able to take advantage of this partnership with the foundation. Um, two years ago at our last live event, we had a quartet of uh, uh, scholars come in and it was just fantastic. And so we were really pleased when it looked like some portion of this week was going to be live. And Paul Smith said, we would love to help you get some of our scholars. So we had two singers who came in from Boston Saturday, Mary Ruth Lown and Corey Hart, and one singer from Seattle, Adrian Redford, and one singer from Cincinnati, who is Grace Kiver. Um, and they're all fantastic. And um, the folks in the Vivaldi yesterday got to hear Mary Ruth and Grace um, solo, and they're teaching voice lessons today. And so it's a very cool thing. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. Um, and then what next? Oh, if you are folks registered for voice lessons, the first sessions of those begin today at four o'clock Mountain Time, and those are at St. John's United Methodist Church. Um, I believe there are still some, if you go back and look at the sign up link. I think there are still a couple of slots available for voice lessons if you're interested. Um, and so that's happening. And then cool. tonight is the second live event. Uh, and I, I I, can't believe I did this, but I asked my friend Bradley Ellingbow if he would conduct. Oh, I just I mean, did a that, that was moment. A, that was a choice. What? what? <laughs> I feel like I kind of know Brad now. We've we've worked together on a couple right. things now, so I I can heckle a little too. That's yes. Hey absolutely. Brad, what's up? So, yeah, <laughs> I mean more than any, I, it was kind of a pragmatic choice because Brad does have you know people who like to sing for him. I've met a few, and so um, <laughs> we thought that they might turn out. And, and no, seriously, it's going to be great. Robert Ray Gospel Mass, absolutely fantastic piece. And one of the reasons I kind of thought it might be good to put Brad together with that piece is that he's conducted it a few times here in Albuquerque and folks have always enjoyed doing it. And so that is tonight at seven o'clock in the St. John Sanctuary. And as with yesterday, there'll be a little bit of rehearsal and then um, sing it through uh, with two fantastic soloists. Um, Olga Perez Flora and James Flora, who are both on the faculty, fairly newly on the faculty at the University of New Mexico, who are bringing the solos. And then the whole thing will be accompanied by a trio, um, piano, bass, and drums, led by my friend and colleague at St. John's, Jim Arend. And so it's going to be just a lot of fun. It will be a rocking good time, I think. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the events like that that I'm like, oh. I want to yeah. be there for those. It would be so fun. Yeah. Adam is also joining in the heckling of Brad. Oh, Brad. oh thank you, Adam. Yeah, <laughs> we appreciate that. Um, and then just kind of over lightly the rest of the events for the week, um, just to go over them because I'm just kind of excited about each and every one. Tomorrow morning, we'll meet back here at 930 uh for music with matt and we're going to start welcoming uh guests to talk about some of the Ooh. things that are going on yes <laughs> so you'll want to tune in for that um and then uh in the afternoon we have another virtual session at one o'clock p.m um my fantastic pianist and wife amy greer is doing a virtual session called deep practice dancing inside the lines of our possibilities and um I always learn so much from Amy's sessions and she is uh, kind of talking about practice as a concept in all of our lives, practicing as a musician, certainly, which we all have to do, uh, but the practices of our lives and how having practices in our lives um, allows for you know us to be more fully human. So uh, really looking forward to that. That'll be at one o'clock tomorrow and probably I'll be watching it from here and she'll be doing it from over there by the piano in the other room. I yeah. Think. yeah. And now we're, now we're all pros at that. Like, Oh yeah, no, I just, you know, pop on from my house. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it exactly. works well. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm eager to hear that session too because uh, yeah, the, the idea of practice, not only vocal practice, because hi, it's been a minute since we all sung, sang, sung, whatever. Words are hard this morning. It's Monday, um, but also just the idea. I love that of of kind of initiating practices into your life and and what does that look like and. How do you how do you keep it up? That's what I want to know. Amy, what are your tips on how to keep up the practices once you've tried to initiate them? Because she has so many good ideas about that. And uh, awesome. so, yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll be good. great. Uh, so Tuesday and then uh, tomorrow evening, we're having our first public sing event. Um, Albuquerque folks, I hope you're aware that we have this summer been sponsoring park sings on Saturday mornings, which have been just enormously fun and people have been turning out for them really well. We've had on an average 100 people on a Saturday morning turning out to sing. And so tomorrow night at Hyder Park in Albuquerque, just on the tail end of Tasty Tuesday, and if you're not aware of Tasty Tuesday, at Hyder Park every Tuesday there are food trucks. So oh. you can go early and enjoy something to eat and then on the tail end of Tasty Tuesday at 6.30 uh, in our spot on the west end of the park, we're going to gather and for an hour of acapella singing and the Voces Eight Scholars are gonna help me lead that. Um, and that is open to anybody that you you want to bring. Um, awesome. We sing canons, we sing folk songs, we sing spirituals and the Voces Eight Scholars are gonna be teaching us some of that stuff that Paul is gonna touch on today. And so it's gonna be a great time tomorrow night, 6.30. Yay. Yay, so fun. Yeah, the, the outdoor singing I know is, is kind of taking off in, in lots of different places of, of the country now. And it's it's cool to see people just gathering and singing together when that's something we've been missing for a long time. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. So and at least here, I mean, tomorrow night should be perfectly pleasant, but the mornings here have been just such a lovely time together and singing. Oh, and so, yeah, 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 good. Um, so that takes us to Wednesday. We'll be back here and we have something special actually on morning music for Matt on Wednesday at 9.30. I'm going to be joined by my friend, uh, David McGuire, who's a composer and also a tenor who sings in quintessence. And we're going to be doing the premiere of a virtual video project that quintessence mm -hmm. took part in about two months ago. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of it. It's just a very, very cool thing. David, during, um, pandemic times wrote a piece partially funded by a grant called Lontano, um, which he conceived as a piece for distanced singers. Oh. Um, and so the idea is a small group of singers spaced appropriately as we've needed to be. Uh, so distanced singers and percussion. Um, he found an absolutely fantastic text by James Baldwin, which is really, really powerful. And he said it um, for those forces I just described. And in his mind, this was a piece that was to be um, sung in a particular space that many of us in New Mexico are aware of, uh, the the mission church at Quarai, about an hour away from here. Um, there are the ruins of this Franciscan chapel. Uh, yes, there it is. Um, and he wrote the piece to be performed in that space because it's an amazing natural acoustic in these ruins. And so um, Quintessence helped fund an ensemble to get together to do this and we rehearsed it. And then on a very windy day in May, we went out there and um, recorded it and did video. And it's, um, it's absolutely amazing. So it's been lots of months in the making and it's been two months since we actually shot and the premiere of that is going to happen on Wednesday morning and then it'll be accessible for people to see. But I'm really proud of it. I'm so excited that we're Yay. able to work it into this week. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. You you sent me the file this morning, so I get to take a look before everybody else, yes. but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see it. So, so yeah. David will be on to talk about it. It's about a 12 minute piece and then we'll all get to see the premiere together. That's Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, and for those of you who are local, I was going to say before that, if you want to get up and do your yoga in the park, thank you, Matt. This was like one of my favorite parts of the virtual festival last year was doing yoga with Kira Rose Harrison. It was delightful. Absolutely. So, and I apologize yeah. if Kira, if you're on, I was not dissing yoga because um, <laughs> Kira is Kira is a member of Quintessence, a wonderful singer, and um, a lot of people here. She has a great following here as a yoga instructor, and so in Batan Memorial Park, Wednesday morning at 8.30, you can show up and do an hour's worth of yoga with Kira and then 
at the end of that session, rush to a device where you can watch <laughs> Morning Music with Matt and see that video. Um, and of course, you can see all of these things afterward as well. So if you don't Correct. make it exactly to see that live, you can you can replay it and see it. Yeah. So yeah, That'll thanks for reminding me of that. And then Wednesday afternoon, another virtual session at 1 p.m. Mountain. We're welcoming back our friend Maria Ellis, who was such a hit last year's festival. Uh, Maria is in St. Louis. She's just a wonderfully energetic and inspiring uh, conductor and teacher. And she is doing a session about uh, teaching music and learning music by rote. So that's happening. Wednesday at one. That'd be very cool. She always just brings so much energy to all the presentations that she does. I, I mean, she figured out early on how to do virtual presentations really well, even in this place yeah. where we can't really sing together. And yeah, she's great. So definitely make some time yeah. for that session. And then Wednesday night, we are gathering for the triumphant return of Beer Choir. Um, and of course, we have been missing beer choir, even though we did a virtual beer choir last year. And I know that Sarah and Adam have been keeping up virtual beer choir events all through this thing, but we get to, to gather in person at Lizard's Tail Brewing. Um, and there are several Albuquerque folks. There are a few different Lizard Tail locations. We're, joint, we're gathering at the one on Columbia, 3351 Columbia Northeast. It's in the warehouse district. Um, and it is a, it's a wonderful space. It's well equipped for this. There's an outdoor space, there's an indoor space, they mm -hmm. serve food. Um, but when you go there, you will think I am in the wrong neighborhood. And then eventually you will come across uh, this amazing little brew pub in the middle of all these kind of warehouses. So nice. just know that it doesn't seem like it's where it belongs, but it's a great space for beer choir. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, we have, uh, Adam and I have been, you know, trying to keep up with Beer Choir up here. We just did a, a sort of outdoor event uh, that we also live streamed, which was kind of a fun thing for us to try. And it was great to just have even just a small group of folks gathering to sing some Beer Choir stuff again, because it had been a while. It was like yeah. stretching some rather stiff muscles, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. And God bless all the people who have been leading singing in virtual events and just trusting that people out there are singing along. It's so nice to actually hear voices around you again. So Agreed, agreed. Yeah. Uh, so Thursday, Thursday morning, we'll be back here in the morning, uh, morning music with Matt. And I expect I am going to have uh, a special guest who is going to be helping me talk about the Thursday evening event, which is the final of the sing-throughs. Um, and this is a wonderful piece that is near and dear to my heart, Taylor Davis's Magnificat. Taylor is a composer who lives in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth. And this is a piece that my church actually commissioned in 2016 for our Festival of Lessons and Carols. Um, and Taylor wrote a fantastic uh, four movement Magnificat uh, for mixed chorus, soprano, solo, and orchestra. Um, and in the meantime, we talked about the piece last summer, if you were in on the virtual festival, uh, Taylor and Barney Smith, the artistic director of Voces 8 and I, because Voces 8 has since recorded it and uh, performed it in England. And so we're getting together a chamber orchestra. We're gonna sing through the piece. Mary Ruth Lown will sing the beautiful soprano solo. And Taylor is coming over from uh, Texas to be present for that. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to that big time. Great, great. Um, and then Mm, Friday, yes, Friday. yeah, we're already yeah. Friday. Friday morning, Friday morning music with Matt in the morning, and then and of course voice lessons. There's voice lesson sessions going on all through these afternoons, uh, including on Friday afternoon. There's lots available, I know. Um, and then on Friday evening, we are having kind of a uh, cabaret fundraiser virtual song recital um, from my living room, actually. And that's going to feature um, the Voces 8 scholars um, singing art songs and duets and quartets accompanied by Amy Greer and an opportunity for you to support Quintessence if you're enjoying that. So that should be great fun. That'll be good. And, I'm excited. Yeah. I always love a good cabaret. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we had a great time in February for our virtual uh, cabaret poetry slam and um, we're happy that this one is actually going to involve some some live singing. And then Saturday morning, just to finish out the week, we're going to gather in Batan Park 
uh, at 10 a.m. and do kind of a final big park sing event. And anybody who wants to is welcome to come turn out for that. So it's going to be a big week. Yeah, lots going on. <laughs> lots of both in-person and virtual opportunities, which I love about this. Uh, I'm so glad that like, you know, kind of in this murky in between time, you know, you decided to go forth with a little bit of an in person stuff and then also pulling in some people from all over the country, both in terms of participants as well as speakers. And um, yeah, I think it just really, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good week. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Um, and um, I think it is time, Sarah, for us to, mm -hmm. as we're going to every morning, we're going to give away a prize. Um, and so, yeah, and following along with the fact that yesterday we sang through the uh, Vivaldi Gloria, we are going to give away this morning to someone who answers a trivia question correctly. Uh, one of my favorite recordings of that piece, this is the Robert Shaw recording with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra and Chorus, uh, Vivaldi Gloria, and on the same recording, um, the Bach Magnificat, just one of my favorite recordings of the Magnificat also. So um, we will give that away to someone who answers the trivia question correctly in the chat box. Uh, and so the first person to give us the correct answer in the chat box, we will send you uh, this fantastic CD. So yesterday we sang through the probably one of the best known pieces of Antonio Vivaldi. Uh, the Vivaldi Gloria had a great time. Um, and Vivaldi had a nickname having to do with his vocation in life, his other job. Uh, he was a priest in addition to being a composer. Um, and that also referred to one of his striking physical characteristics, which was the color of his hair. So that's the question this morning. What color was Vivaldi's hair? Mm. And so the first person to answer in the chat box. That's there's it. only one. That's right. There's All right. we're looking well, for see. one right answer. What color <laughs> was Vivaldi's hair? <laughs> this made me giggle when you uh, when you shared it this morning because I was like, you know, normally there are these like rich musical questions about you know, I don't know, either <laughs> another piece that this composer did or something yeah. like that. Uh, but, you know, at now and it's already we hair color. We, we already have. answers, yes. And All right, this, I think this, this is the first I see. Yes, Jonathan. Jonathan Van Arsdell, the Red Priest. Yes, exactly right. I'm sorry, Pee Wee fan is my sister Mary watching from Washington, D.C. Mary, I'm so sorry that you came in second <laughs> in this case, but... Jonathan Van Arsdell, uh, congratulations. We will well done. Well done. send you a copy of that CD and look at all these smart people. I Someone know. is guessing oh. purple. That would have been interesting. I love it. In That's very on brand for quintessence. Century. I yes. mean, you know, I like yes. it. I like it. <laughs> so thank you, all of you who, uh, who chimed in. There'll be another yeah. chance to win something fantastic yeah. tomorrow. Right. And... I think it's time to probably wrap up so that we can get to Rod Vester's session at the top of the hour, Indeed. Sarah. Indeed. Indeed. I, I agree. I'm excited to hear what, what he has to share with all of us. And yeah, hop on over to the next link on uh, on the virtual page and, and you can uh, join us here in about seven minutes. Okay. Yeah, we better get right. going. <laughs> okay. We'll do. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks for this. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Bye. Bye.